so the next question is uh, what is it like being a cto on daily basis uh, and uh, it's, it's a funny, it's a question. funny question i'll add another question yeah. to it how do you manage work life balance uh, even for you and for others your staff yeah sure i'll i'll answer that question um, uh, the funny thing is i i've had a number of people that have worked for me over the years leave uh, leave my team and go be ctos uh, at other companies which is great um, it's terrible at the time but great uh, that you're mentoring people and i always tell them uh, come back to me i usually pretty close with most of my direct reports and i always tell them uh, you know to set up a meeting with you we're going to have dinner um, six months um, from now and uh, after um, after becoming uh, the CTO and having dinner with them, I often will ask them a question. Okay, so tell me about your week. Um, you know, what percentages of your time did you spend on, uh, you know, a technical decision, a code review, a product uh, review, or something that has to do with the environment? Or, you know, how many chairs should we have? Uh, HR topics of issues. You know, what color should the, um, you know, should the walls be? Uh, people don't like the snacks in the snack room and that sort of thing. And I always get just a huge amount of laughter uh, about, you know, the CTO role comes with both sides. And frankly, I love, I love it when we're going into things like a deep technical review or a, uh, a uh, you know, even a day long session for an architecture overview or, or a planning because it's, it's more about what I love to do versus what I have to do. Um, so it's, it can be tough to balance uh, both sides uh, because you have a lot of, you know, running a, you know, I was running a 10,000 person team at, at Walmart uh, and now, now my team's a thousand at, at Pinterest. There's a lot of that going on, uh, the, a lot of the non-technical going on. So I, I enjoy um, getting to the most technical parts as I, as I can. The work-life balance thing has come up a lot as part of this COVID, um, uh, environment they're in, there has been a lot of people complaining about, um, you know, it's hard to sort of know when work time is and when work time is not. I'll be a little bit facetious here that um, um, if you grew up in, in the IT space when I did, um, you know, you were sort of on call all the time. And it's only been in the last uh, few years that um, people have, you know, sort of said, hey, that's, you know, I'm not going to be on call or I don't want to take an SRE role or whatever. So we were laughing about that um, even a few days ago. Um, but I do uh, agree that it's, um, it's important to make sure that you have your own, own balance and, and, uh, and ways to get it uh, 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 to, um, to communicate with you. We, we've talked about it at work. If I'm sending an email to one of my employees, I don't expect them to get back to me unless uh, in, in uh, the same day, if you will, and they can take 24 hours. If I'm sending um, a Slack, I want it to be done in the same day. And if I'm sending a text, I need it in the same hour. And so you can sort of set up boundaries like that saying, hey, don't text stuff that isn't important, you know, and, and set up boundaries with your boss in particular, but your whole team uh, so that you can figure out a way to do uh, work-life balance. Uh, over the years, I've, you know, I've literally been signing contracts at, you know, 11.59 on New Year's Eve when I had already had five beers in me and things like that. So it, it does come with the territory. If you're going into, um, you know, a technical leadership job, you're signing up um, for a life where you're, uh, where you're going to be on call all the time. Um, whether it's an incident, uh, you know, an HR issue or, or some last second contract you have to do, it's just part of the job.